Admiral Gilday, I was glad to hear Congressman Lamborn ask you about your decision to include Ibram X. Kendi's How to Be an Anti-Racist in your recommended reading list. I was also relieved uh, to hear you say that you disagree with Kendi and you do not support racial discrimination. That being said, the Navy recently completed a one-day stand-down to remove extremism from the ranks. The Chief of Naval Personnel explained, quote, we will not tolerate extremist ideologies that go against our oath to the Constitution. In my view, Kendi has espoused extremist beliefs that clearly violate the oath to the Constitution that I took when I served in the Navy. Ibram Kendi, by the way, labeled Amy Coney Barrett a, quote, white colonizer and criticized her for, quote, cutting the biological parents of these children out, end quote, because she adopted two children from Haiti. Yes or no, Admiral, do you personally consider opposition to interracial adoption an extremist belief? I just ask you, do you consider opposition to interracial adoption an extremist belief? It's a simple question. Okay. Kendi's book states that, Admiral, uh, Kendi's book states that capitalism is essentially racist. Admiral, your microphone isn't on, I believe. Thank you. Thank you. Kendi's book states that capitalism is essentially racist. And Kendi is clear that racism must be eliminated. So yes or no? Do you personally consider advocating for the destruction of American capitalism to be extremist? Here's what I know, Congressman. So yes There's or no racism question, Admiral. in the United States Navy. Admiral, you I recommended every sailor in the United States Navy read this book. It's a yes or no question. I'm not forcing anybody to read the book. It's on a recommended reading list. Admiral, did you read the book? I did. Okay. In college, Kendi stated that white people are a different breed of humans and are responsible for the AIDS virus. Yes or no, do you personally consider the conspiracy that white people started AIDS to be an extremist belief? Sir, I'd have to understand the context. That is a simple question. Made. I'm not going to I'm not going to Admiral, here. this is a book I'm that you recommended here, sir, every defend, sailor in the United States Navy cherry read. picked quotes from somebody's book. I'm not going to do that. This is a bigger issue than Kendi's book. What this is really about is trying to paint the United States military, and in this case, the United States Navy as weak, as woke. And we've had sailors that spent 341 days at sea last year with minimal port visits, the longest deployments we've Admiral, had. Admiral, I've, I've met War. you, I respect we are you. Not weak. I remain astonished. We are strong and our parents Admiral, I remain astonished that you put this strong. book on a reading list and recommended that every sailor in the United States Navy read it. I'm also surprised that you said you, you read it. But I'm glad you brought up those points. You, sir? The Department of Defense, list. Admiral, the Department of Defense undertook the stand down because they understand that extremism detracts from military readiness. So if sailors accept Kendi's argument that America and the United States Navy are fundamentally racist, as you've encouraged them to do, do you expect that to increase or decrease morale and cohesion or even recruiting into the United States Navy? I do know this. Our strength is in our diversity, and our sailors understand that. Race is a very, racism in the United States is a very complex issue. What we benefit from is an open discussion about those issues, that we don't try to ignore it or rewrite it, but we actually have a discussion about it. And there'll be various views, and I trust sailors will come and, and to an understanding of hopefully separating from fact from fiction agreeing or disagreeing with Kendi in this case, and come to hopefully very useful conclusions about how we ought to treat each other in the United States. Ad Admiral, why, why did you put this book on the reading list and recommend it to, that every single United States sailor read it? Because I think it's really important to consider a variety of views. Admiral, you said you read this book. What part of this book is redeeming and, and qualifies as something that, that every, I think every sailor in the United States needs to read it. about his own journey as an African-American in this country, what he's experienced. Let me ask you again, Admiral, do you expect that say, after sailors read this book that says that the United States Navy is racist, 
that we will increase or decrease morale, cohesion, and recruiting rates into the United States Navy. I think we'll be a better Navy from having open, honest conversations about racism. Gentlemen's time, time has expired. expired.